Luke Hilkins outside the London Stadium, West Ham Fan TV. Uh, Luke, uh, very, very bad performance tonight. Yeah, but to be honest, mate, this goes a lot further than tonight's performance, doesn't it? It's a bigger problem, you know. I'm worried this football club's going to decay. Uh, you know, you look at teams like Sunderland in the Championship at the bottom. They've got a lovely stadium like ours. Well, you could say that. They've got a lovely stadium and they're struggling. And you look at us, we are run like an absolute circus from that pitch right to the top, to the director's box. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I've, I've, you know, I've, I've go to every single game and, you know, 50%, 75% intensity, intensity isn't enough for fans. It's just not. Um, you know, this, this problem goes on and on and on and nothing changes. What is the problem? Put your finger on it yeah, now. Yeah, what I, is the problem? I, I, Mate, I put the thing, my finger on it and I stand by it. I don't want Slavin Bilic to manage this football club, but when he goes and someone else comes in, the problem will not change. Because these owners, two years ago, said, we're moving here to compete. Two years ago, we, did, we beat Liverpool home, away, and in the cup at the bowling ground. We had the bowling ground and now we've moved here to compete, to go to the next level. We've gone down, we've gone backwards. We are going nowhere. We're going nowhere but down. It's this this place, these people, liars, liars. That's what they are. And it makes me sick, you know? I grew up with my dad taking me to West Ham games. You don't want to come anymore. I'm yeah. carrying on this family tradition to come and watch this football team. Why should I bother? Because people aren't even trying enough. They don't care. There's people out there that don't care. And it isn't good enough for me. People work every day. We're going to go to work on Monday morning. Right? If I have, say I had a manager that I don't like, I'm not saying I do, but if I didn't, I'd still give 100% to earn my money. People need some self-respect. People need to have some gratitude. It's sickening. It's yeah. sickening. I, I, I just can't get my head around it. There's problem after problem after problem. And a new manager, it won't change that. It will make things a little bit better, I hope. But we have got nothing. We haven't got the squad, you know. Dom comes on in and says Cumin, but for me, we're more dysfunctional than Everton were. We don't have. We we we've got nothing. Yeah. We've got a toxic squad. Sacco doesn't want to be there, you know. Why is he here? It's just we're a mess. I I, I, don't, I just don't know what to say. But I'm I'm appalled. I mean, should we leave it there? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But what what do you think's the problem? Uh, I can't put my finger on it, mate. I think I the, man, the manager is the problem, the players are the problem, a recruitment, it's all a problem. The board? It's all a problem. Yeah, of course. I've always said that they're a problem. It comes from the top and it stems down and they are the main problem. And I just, I, I, I don't get it. They've sold lie after lie after lie and we've lost at home 4-1 on a Saturday night. It's just not good enough, you know? Well, uh, so to be fair, to a Liverpool team, yeah. losing 4-1 ain't the story. The story is that this happens time after time yeah, after yeah. time it again. It happened to Burnley. It happened against Burnley. You know, stuff, something needs to change. But again, if a manager comes in... That was Brighton, by the way. Oh, yeah, Brighton, sorry, yeah. If a manager comes in, we're, we're, we're still dysfunctional. You yeah. know, who, what, what world-class manager is going to come and work under David Sullivan? Yeah. Like, let's be real. I'm just, I, I'm just sickened defeated. by this. I'm defeated. I'm defeated and I, I don't know where, where to look at the next positive and where it's going to come from. All right, Luke. Thanks very much, pal. Cheers,